हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सैम्पलिंग टेक्निक्स मेथड्स ऑफ सैम्पलिंग द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट हाउ एवर इज द सिलेक्शन ऑफ द सैम्पल ए सैम्पल स्टडी वुड गिव डिपेंडेबल कंक्लूजन ओनली इफ द सैम्पल इज अ ट्रू रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन देर आर सेवरल मेथड्स ऑफ कलेक्शन ऑफ सैम्पल डेटा In short, called sampling methods, the most commonly known and frequently used types of sampling methods are purposive sampling, random sampling, stratified sampling, and stratified sampling. However, there are other sampling methods: systematic sampling, cluster sampling, multi-stage sampling, TPS sampling, etc. purposive sampling in purposive sampling the samples are drawn keeping some definite purpose in view for example if somebody is interested to show that the fishes produced in a certain village say having 100 fish ponds are disease free and healthy ones then he may take samples from the ponds where the fishes suffered no disease at all and exclude the ponds having fishes suffering from diseases this type of sampling suffers from the drawback of favoritism nepotism and biases and doesn't give a representative sample of the population random sampling a random sample is one in which each unit of population has an equal chance of being included in it that means the investigator will take samples from ponds irrespective of their condition that is whether disease free or disease stricken without any bias or purpose in other words he selects ponds at random and this is called random sampling stratified sampling the entire heterogeneous population is divided into a number of homogeneous groups usually terms as strata which differ from one another but each of these groups is homogeneous within itself then units are sampled at random from each of this stratum the sample size in each stratum varies according to the relative importance of the stratum in the population the sample which is aggregate of the sampled units of each of the stratum is termed as stratified sample and the technique of drawing this sample is known as stratified sampling such a sample can be considered as a better representative of the population from which it has been drawn